today I'm going to check in with you guys and I'm going to be doing my, is it eight month? So it'll be March, 20 February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October. So we're coming to the end of October now, on to November. So I'm going to class it as my eighth month. So I am eight months post-op for my rhinoplasty with Dr. Reza Barak Khan and I actually cannot fault it. I'm just going to be going through a few things I've experienced if you are considering getting a rhinoplasty and what it is like at eight months post-op. <laughs> so I've got a little list on my phone and before we get into this can I just talk about everywhere has sold out of pumpkins everywhere and it's hella fucking weird like seriously. So I've had to come to my own creative vibes this is what we're working with. So jumping into the video anyway, I've got some notes written down on my phone, just like things I've experienced and stuff like that. So eight months post-op, as I talked about previously in my other videos, um, I tape my nose, I still tape my nose. I use this tape, it is the Micropore tape, which has got hair all over it. I just got this from Amazon, it's so, so cheap. Just type in Micropore tape and it's literally about, if you're from the UK, about £1.50, it's not dear at all. And this stuff works like a dream. Honestly, even when I put all my face creams on, I use the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream and the Night Cream. And if you've ever used that before, it's so thick and so heavy, but this, even sticks down over that and it keeps on all night. It doesn't come off and it seriously helps the swelling. I don't need this as much now because a lot of my swelling has subsided within the eight months. However, say if I just really want a snatch nose, if I'm going out or like if I've got like, I don't know, a dinner or something and I just want to feel and look my best, then I'll just pop this on at the night just so in the morning it's nice and small and it doesn't flate up in the morning then. Um, so yeah, I still use tape on my nose. So the second thing I've noticed is, um, even though it's not swollen as much now, like how it was in the previous videos, I had a lot of uneven swelling. I'm trying to get the right light in there, I'm sorry, I'm trying to use my flashlight. There we go. So as you can see, um, I've not got the uneven swelling. I used to have really bad swelling here. I have contoured it a tiny bit, but not a lot at all. Literally just like one dust, one dust, and then just underneath here. But as you can see, the swelling, it has gone down so, so much. And it's just starting to look a lot more like a natural, normal nose than like bumpy and un uneven. I couldn't fault it. I was stressing out in the first couple of months, honestly, because I was thinking shit is this how my nose is gonna look like i can't cope with this if it's like all uneven on one side like this is not what i imagined but you've just got to trust the process like please please just trust the process you will have your down days and you'll think why the hell have i done this but just trust it it'll all work out um as you can see it has for me this side was really really bad to a swelling really bad third thing I've noted this is not the third product if you're in the same position as me and you're not happy with your nose give it a full year because a lot can change in those months like you don't realize it and um it is not the finished product um another thing I've noted and you can probably tell from my previous videos my side profile like the tip I'll zoom you guys in a bit so as you can see from the front it has I have got still some swelling here a lot of the swelling's gone down on this side however another thing you might notice is in my previous videos the tip was really really raised it was like this and as you can see the tip has dropped quite a lot which i do like it looks more natural and this side well, as you can see the tip has dropped quite a lot which i'm happy with because i didn't i, I liked it upturned don't get me wrong i did like it like that but um i prefer a more natural straight nose personally myself i don't like piggy upturned noses um it's just not something i would suit i think it looks nice on other people just not myself and also it's normal to feel lumps and bumps because when i had my nose job like my oh god so 
prior to my nose job I had a big bump on this side especially and little like little bumps here it wasn't even like this side was always smooth felt smooth and straight but this side I could always feel like bumps why is that hanging on I could always feel like bumps and lumps and stuff and um I can still feel them now but you just can't see them so that's like you don't have to worry about if you can feel lumps and bumps because I can still feel a bump here and here also another thing it does it does still itch quite a lot um you'll always see me like <laughs> doing this and it looks like i'm picking my nose but i'm actually really not i promise you i'm really not a scruff so i just like twist my finger in and out of it but people tend to look at me like what is she doing so <laughs> now i just get a cotton bud and just scratch the inside of my nose but do you know what another positive to this to, uh, to this is actually because all this bizarre stuff is going on now um i'm not going to mention what it is because this video will probably get demonetized but um yeah that <laughs> um when i had my test as as you know they probably they stick a swab down the back of your throat and then also up your nose i can't feel it on my nose because it's still numb right at the top so that is a positive like everyone's like that i've been with is like crying their eyes out while they're getting swabbed but i'm like genuinely cannot feel it and then like previously i did get a lot of like i know it sounds a bit disgusting but like gunk up my nose like when i was sleeping especially and i woke up and i had all like this this stuff in my nose but i don't tend to get that anymore i'd say it stopped within like the last three weeks something like that um so i'd say like month seven it stops um with me personally anyway obviously i'm a bit sniffly now because it is the winter and it always happens to me anyway in the winter i always get colds and a snotty nose and all sorts um and also another thing is i can feel the tip i can feel the tip of my nose and it's so good now because it feels like a normal nose like before even if i'd like blow my nose or itch it or just feel it it'd feel numb and it used to stress me the hell out because like it didn't feel like it was on my face i know that sounds bizarre but um i can actually feel it now and i'm so happy because it just feels like it belongs on my face it doesn't feel like it's fake it doesn't feel like it's anything else the only thing i can say is it is still going down the swelling i have got a bit of an uneven swelling up here and um the tip i can still feel swollen like it takes a year for the tip to go down anyway so i've still got like four months to wait and a lot can change in four months like you don't realize it like when i look back now at my videos and i see like when i got my nose done to month three like the dramatic difference is ridiculous but the words of advice I give is like trust the process, stop stressing. I've had a lot and a lot of girls message me and it's actually quite um, heartbreaking because I know how they feel and I know how they, how they felt in that position. They're stressing out and they're saying I look like a pig, I look like a panda, I look swollen, my face is out here and trust me I know exactly how you feel honestly but you've just got to trust the process and the good thing you can take from it now because it is we're all in lockdown we're in the middle of a fucking global pandemic you can literally stay the hell in and no one's going to see you until probably about at least six months in the future and your nose is going to be looking fucking snatched so <laughs> just take them words of advice because this is the best sign to get a nose job like it actually is because no one's going to see you in those ugly swollen days apart from yourself which is i know a bit annoying looking at it but imagine when you go out with a fresh new nose and everyone's like so this is my month eight what i've been experiencing i didn't want to upload month six because i felt like nothing really changed from like when i done my last video i'd just be talking the same old um malarkey so i decided to leave it a bit just to show you so you can see my results and so i can give you a bit of different information from a different perspective because i felt like it was just the same as what it was the previous months but i have done a few videos on how to reduce swelling um in those first couple of months so i'll link that up here also go and check out my um 
my vlog from the very first weeks, my month one and month two, if you are interested in getting a rhinoplasty, just to see how it all, the timeline is. And you can literally see from each video, <laughs> my nose is out here and it's just getting thinner and thinner and thinner. Thank you for clicking on this video, guys. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. It really would help me out. And I've got a lot more videos planned. I know I've been slacking. I know I've been slacking. I'll see you in my next video. <laughs> oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. A lot of people, I just want to disclose this, so don't click off. Um, people have been asking me about my veneers and to be honest, um, I'm not really a fan. Just to put it out there. I'm not really a fan, so I'm not going to make a video on it. Um, I am going back to the place. The place is incredible, but I didn't really take the time to look at them and see any changes I wanted. So I am going back in January to get a new set of veneers, top and bottom. Um, I'm getting a different material. I didn't know at the time. I didn't do my research. I'm stupid. So I'm going with a different material, different shape, and I'm getting them shortened and smaller. Um, so if you want to hear about veneers, I'll be making a vlog of the whole process because I'll be basically getting it done again. So yeah, that's just a disclosure because I've had a, quite a few messages about um, my veneer experience, but I'll be doing a vlog on that at the end of December. I'm flying out on the 27th. So yeah. Right, I'll let you go now. So thank you for watching this video. Love you loads. Bye.